to the common man kanya kumari is a land of comfort peace pleasure and delight this beautiful cape is protected by the western guards from the north and three oceans from other sides obviously it is known as triveni sangamam meaning meeting point of three for the monsoon wind kanyagomari is the gateway to india even the breeze of weather change come through this land for centuries millions of tourists visit kanyagomari and enjoy these unique geographical perspectives however the ecosystem and the unique biodiversity with its rare and endemic species of forest of kanyagomari were either been neglected or got unnoticed by the rest of the world can you ever imagine that so close to the ocean we have this beautiful pristine wet evergreen forest i would have never thought of that Even the coastal ecosystem of Kanyagomari has a beautiful mangrove buffer with many rare species living underneath. This is Mahendragiri, the highest peak in Kanyagomari district. A journey from ground zero in Kanyagomari to the towering Mahendragiri peak of 1829 meters will be an amazing audiovisual experience for the nature lover. of the different types of forests that are found in this region the moist evergreen is the most significant type of forest because over millions of years this forest has evolved each plant each species fighting for its survival and finally what you see around us is the outcome of that million years of competition and survival so that way when you look at the forest type the evergreen forest plays a major role in the survival of the whole landscape forest is a multi-layered habitat with hundreds of plants and trees fighting with the rest of the band for their existence and together they make homes for hundreds of other species without hurting or without hunting plants make a living using energy from the sun they convert co2 into nutrients that feed a host of animals and birds Without the oxygen factory run by the trees we cannot exist These towering mountains that you see behind me have a major role to play. They stop all the clouds and make it rain. Rain is the rejuvenation process of nature. Water is always on the move, traveling endlessly around our planet in a process known as the water cycle. As a cloud as a raindrop as a thundering rain and finally as a crashing wave on the seashore water determines life on earth there is no life without water this region has a wonderful water cycle thanks to the monsoon
every human civilization that we know evolved and survived only because of the rivers that fed them our streams are home to many unique life forms and they are all interdependent the bondage between reptiles amphibians insects and endemic fish forms a healthy ecosystem after the rain we can feel the happiness and cheers that the plants and other creatures achieve from the shower the streams and its nourishment many species of dragonfly and damselfly families are found here and most of them are endemic to the western ghats Frogs play a critical role in the life chain of nature. They are the first to react to climate change. If a healthy population of frogs can be seen, it is an indicator that the forest is well managed. This is water. It's not just H2O. This is the lifeline of all the living creatures which occupy our world. And what does this forest do? Every grass blade on the mountain top, every shola that you see in in the ridges, they all collect this water and release it to the world meticulously, perennially. from tiny plants to gigantic trees nature has its rhythm and beauty in all her creations though each plant struggles for its existence their survival depends on the coexistence of all the species that share the landscape plants are managers of water from the tiny dew on a moss to tons of water held by the massive trees they ensure life of all the streams and rivers and they also keep the earth alive kanyakumari is famous for maruthwar malai meaning mountain of medicinal plants it is a land of many precious medicinal plants and many other herbs more than 400 flowering plants have been identified so far and many remain unidentified Mushrooms play a vital role in the recycle process of nature. They detoxify the soil and make soil-based minerals and nutrients. Kanyakumari Wildlife Sanctuary shares borders with Kalakkad Mudandarai Tiger Reserve and Nayar Wildlife Sanctuary. These three sanctuaries together ensure a healthy population of animals. When the prey is in abundance, predators also have a good chance of survival. This sanctuary is the southernmost habitat of tiger in India. Kanyakumari Wildlife Sanctuary is home to elephants, gaur, many species of deers, primates including the highly endangered lion-tailed macaque, and many many lesser mammals.
Hornbills are very special birds. Their breeding cycle is very unique. They need very tall trees for making their nest. And if you have a healthy population of hornbills around in this big beautiful forest, which means that we have a healthy ecosystem. The unique breeding rituals of hornbill has influenced many a poet. When the incubation starts, the male closes the nest with mud, allowing the female only a tiny hole for feeding. Until the eggs hatch, the male keeps feeding the female while she stays comfortably in the nest. It is quite surprising to know that this park is home to hundreds of woodland bird species. Birds play a key role in insect management and seed disbursement. Though revered as a national bird and the subject of many poems and stories, peacock is a ferocious predator. They prey on many small animals, including venomous snakes. Hundreds of species of jungle birds are found here. With the rich diversity in plant life and insects, the jungle birds of this region never face any shortage of food. Several birds like cuckoos, the melodious Indian coil, shrikes, swallows, fairy bluebird, different types of woodpeckers, parakeets, barbets, warblers, babblers, mina, etc. are common in this forest region. If at all you come across an emerald dove in this park, don't be surprised. After all, it is a state bird of Tamil Nadu. Many rare and endemic species of reptiles of the Western Guards can be found in the Kanyakumari Wildlife Sanctuary, which includes lizards, agamas, chameleons and much more. Kanyakumari is home to many tiny insects. The health of any forest can be measured by the micro life forms that exist there. Kanyakumari Wildlife Sanctuary boasts a healthy population of insects and other invertebrates, many of them are not found anywhere else.
One of the beautiful natural wonders is the butterfly migration. And Kanyagumari is an ideal place to watch this phenomenon. It starts from October till March. Migrating butterflies follow the streams and rivers. In between they do mud puddling to restore their mineral reserve. The Suchindram Therur Manakudi Bird Conservation Reserve is also managed well by the Kanyagumari Forest Division. The forest department takes special care of marine animals. The hatchery run by the department protects olive ridley turtle eggs and release the babies into the ocean. Our ancestors began their journey from the forest. Even now, our lives depend on the forest in many ways. In Kanyakumari, we can see a healthy coexistence of tribals with nature. Realizing the importance of forest in our lives, governments have always given high priority to forest protection and management. Kanyagumari Wildlife Sanctuary is the lifeline of millions of people in this district. They depend on the sanctuary for their agriculture, fresh water and much, much more. Forest fires severely damage the ecosystem. Unfortunately, majority of the fires in this region are man-made. The Department of Forest and Wildlife work very hard to protect our forests from fire and other man-made damages. Kanyakumari is a renowned tourism destination world over, as well as it's known for its biodiversity. By virtue of its biodiversity, we have two protected areas in this part of the country. The one is the Kanyakumari Wildlife Sanctuary, and another is the STMCR, also known as Sajindram Peru Manakudi Bird Conservation Reserve. solitude of the night. Life in the forest is calm, but alive. In this big joint family, life goes on and on, without hurry, without delay, in a calm, simple way. 